So after men's singles, we turn our attention to women's singles. And once again, a defending champion, Wang Shashian, the number three seed this year, up against Iriko Hirose of Japan. This is a repeat of last year's final. So Wang Shoshian, 22 years of age, turned 22 last month, number three in the world ranking, but she has been number one. In fact, spent a total of 33 weeks at number one. Now look at a win-loss record for the year, eight and one. That's very impressive indeed. And of course, she won the Korean Super Series event and semi-final in Malaysia as well. And of course, at that, uh, that mix, the team competition for the Uber Cup qualifying. Now, her first round opponent yesterday, what a tough first round, my goodness me, the World Championship silver medalist, Cheng Xiaoqie of Taipei, 21-9, 21-15. Well, looked impressive to say the least, but that really is reflective of the quality of this premier OSIM BWF World Super Series event. So for the 26-year-old Iriko Hirose, who will turn 27 a week tomorrow. Of course, All England finalist last year. This her ninth appearance at these championships. And throughout her career, has yet to win a title. A couple of finals, not only the All England final, obviously, but uh, reached the final when she burst onto the world stage back in 2004 at the Indonesian Open. And it was an Indonesian qualifier who she beat in the first round here of this year's All England. And incidentally, in that third game, which she eventually won 21-19, she was 13-16 down, seven straight points to go to 20-16 and closed it out in an hour and four minutes. So Adrianti Ferdasari, the qualifier from Indonesia, gave her a real, real battle. So this, uh, the fourth meeting between these two players. The last meeting was in Macau, in the second round of Macau last year. But of course, in the All England final last year, it was two games, but it was very much closer than their last meeting because in the All England final a year ago, it was 24-22, 21-18. So, Enrico Hirosi lives in Osaka. And of course Rest has come back Thank you. from a terrible injury completely tore or ruptured a hamstring when she was playing in the Philippine Grand Prix event in 2007. It happened right in front of me. I saw it happen. I heard it go. And a poor girl was in all sorts of agony. But like Vitting Hoos, I think it's come back better and stronger after the horrendous injury problems. Paul Buffon from England, Wolfgang Lund from France, our service judge. Of course, Wang Shishian, not any former world number one. Of course, the World Championships in Paris, she was a bronze medalist when she was only the number six seed. bronze medalist at the Asian Games in 2010 when her opponent of today surprised everyone by winning right. the gold medal. Wang Shishan, China. <laughs> and on my left, Eriko Hirose, Japan. <laughs> Wang Shishan to serve, love all, play.
So the defending champion, Wang Shoshian, getting this second round encounter underway. One love. Delightful. Two love. Now, on the coach's bench is Zhang Nan. Zhang Ning, I do beg your pardon. Two time Olympic champion. There she is. Still an Olympic champion. One in 2004 in Athens and again in Beijing in 2008. Now in charge of the women's single squad. What is it about Wang Shoshian that makes her so special? Former world number one defending champion here. Because unlike her coach, she's not a very tall athlete. Of course, I remember Zhang Ning playing and using her height so well, creating lots of angles of, and so on. Whereas Wang Shoshian is only 168. Three, that's just over five foot six. She's not playing the same style. So what is it that makes her so special? She's just what you would call the ultimate shot player. She's got an ability, probably unlike any other lady singles player in the world, to create shots out of nowhere. And she's not afraid to do it. She's got so much confidence, and her movement around the court is exceptional. You know, being smaller, she has a better you know, level of gra you know, lower level of gravity, which enables her to move nice and fluently around the court. And uh, she's just so deceptive, always trying to take the shuttle as early as possible. And wide. Service over. Two, three. And to me, and I hope this is not sounding harsh because I don't mean it in that way at all, Hirose is a very good athlete. She's got very good court coverage. But to me, she doesn't play with enough urgency to actually go out and start commanding the rallies. She doesn't dictate the pace enough. To me, she reacts too much what opponents are throwing Service at her. Over. It's just the general two. nature in which the Japanese lady singles train. I mean, I know and I've heard that they train for possibly four hours at a time. You know, long, long rallies, basically trying to run their opponents into the ground, which may work against other nations, but against the Chinese, who've got way too much to offer, you've got to take it to them as well. Of course, you want to make them tired, but you can't just allow, certainly, somebody like this Chinese girl to have freedom of shot. Service over. No, and I Three, think that four. the game has moved on so much since it became an Olympic sport in uh, badminton's first ever Olympics, Barcelona in 1992, and I was fortunate enough to compete there. Uh, much more funding has come into world badminton. Governments all over the world make funding available now to badminton players through the national federations. And I think the whole level of fitness and professionalism of preparation four, four. has gone up a level and I think you're absolutely right I'm not sure that just being a reactive player nowadays is enough no I know that the Chinese in particular have a lot of people studying matches back at home um, working out opponents and, and the best sort of styles to beat these opponents so when they go into every single match they know a game plan they know what's going to work they expect every shot that's coming off their rackets, and uh, and that's sport Five, in general four. these days. I think sport over the last 10, 20 years, a lot more science involved, and um, you know players are so much more organised. You know, there's no weaknesses within a particular player's game. Oh, that's clever. 
service over. Using the body smash. Five all. We see that so often in doubles, but I personally believe it's a shot that's not used often enough in singles. Yeah, the girls will always practice retrieving shots from down the down the lines. Very rarely do they practice the smash off the body. So it does ca you know, catch people off guard. Oh, found the corner. Perfect Six, placement. Five. Brilliant use of the drift. It was almost though she sent it just outside the court, knowing that it was going to come back about 10 centimetres, causing her opponent to leave it, and then the surprise comes when it actually lands in the court. Hey! Seven, five. Just long by a fraction. <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting. It's clear to me that there's tactics from Wang Shoshian to make nine five. Erika Hirose move the full diagonal of the court and even now even though she's over that hamstring injury sometimes I think when she lunges deep there's still signs that she doesn't quite trust it. There's always that thing at the back of your mind that it could possibly happen again. And no matter how many times you, you practice the lunge over and over again in training, you still have that bit of doubt. Ten, and it five. just doesn't allow you to get that foot far enough forward to really dig out the really deep shots. Yeah, and that was exemplified in that last rally once again, making Hirose move the full diagonal. Not getting down low enough in the lunge position. There, tentative once again. And therefore makes an error on her net shot. So, a six point advantage to the defending champion, mid game interval. On a run of seven straight points. Champion, world champion, the one title she never actually won was the All England. Three times beaten finalist. I can remember asking her about that, and whether it was sort of a, a problem to her that she'd never won it. And she said no. And so, despite all the tradition of the All England, of course, this is the 102nd edition of the All England Championships, the oldest international tournament in badminton. And the history that goes with it makes it incredibly Play. special. In all the players' minds, it's not just one of the premier Super Series events. Oh, this is now a run of eight straight points. 12, five. Quickly, quickly. I think Hirose is really struggling now with uh, Shushan. She's got so many deceptive shots that Hirose feels like she's got to put the shuttle right on the back line. So that gives herself time to read the game. Um, and she hasn't quite realized at this point in time that there is actually a drift going away from her. And she's lifted quite a lot of shots out the back of the court. She needs to obviously bring that back a bit. Yeah, tactics are clear. The smash from Hirose straight down at the backhand side of Wang Shoshian. She blocked the shuttle across court. Then, having got the lift, 
she's now playing the overhead angle across court to once again make the Japanese number one player move that diagonal. It's frightening, to be honest, because Hirose is a very, very good player in the final here last year, and yet Shushan just has so many skills. It, it's quite frightening, to be honest, how easy she makes the game look. Yeah. Making Hirose 14, twist and five. turn at every opportunity. Look at that backhand side, then to the net, forehand now sharp down to the backhand side once again. Yeah, no wonder Zhang Ning applauds. Ten straight points. Oh, that's quite seven. good. Well, I wasn't convinced with Six, that myself. 14. But accepted in good grace by Wang Shoshian. Oof. Wow. Well. All I can say is that I'd hate to be a line judge having to make those split second decisions and then having the likes of you and me scrutinize it over again. I think they do a wonderful job. Oof. That was another one. Very, very close. But the tactics were so good, weren't they? May have missed by a fraction, but it was the right idea. I mean, it's incredible play all round from Shishan. It just amazes me how the Chinese girls just they just keep bringing them out and bringing them out. One good player after another. You know, even when just when you think they're drying up a little bit, out comes the next batch of great players. Yes, and I think that's emphasised by the 14. seeds here in the women's singles draw. Five of the eight seeds were Chinese players. Nine. Yeah, that's good lengths. Well, perhaps just recognising herself, what you were saying a moment ago, Anthony. Just got to readjust. Heading towards that back line because of the drift. Oh, oh my goodness. Out. Oh, well, I was going so to say, well, the umpire there, 15, Paul Buffon, overruling the line judge. Well, there you go curse of the commentator I've been singing the praises of the line judges yeah that was out good overall by the umpire very good umpiring It's always a sign that a player is in nine. trouble in singles when they have to turn and play the backhand from deep in that backhand corner. Like you said, Jill, she's just twisting and turning it in every direction. You know, Verosi really doesn't know whether it's going to be a, a soft, delicate slice or a hard smash to the body or the punch clear she used several times in that rally. So confusing. <laughs> Service over. 10-16. Uh, giving her some of her own medicine here. And that is the sort of thing that I personally would like to see more of from Hirose. You know, taking more initiative. He's the one that's playing the downward shots, making her opponent react to what she's throwing at her. Just can't allow a player like Shishan to, to play her own game. I think that's what Rose is really doing at the moment. She's got to attack. I mean, you're better off as a player coming off of a match, having thrown everything at your opponent, rather than just allowing them to be almost too good for you.
Oh, my goodness. Swayed her body one way, 18, hit the net shot 10. the other. But she was so much in control of the rally. She's got so many skills, this girl. It's incredible, to be honest. I mean, there's very, very few players in the world that can turn their wrist in the opposite direction to play a net shot within six inches and confuse your opponent. Type the, the skill that's needed to do that. Very, very few players can do it. Yes, and also the courage to do it, the confidence to do it, I think a big part of it. And I think at the moment, the 19, body language 10. of Iriko Hirose is concerning for Japanese fans because she looks to me as if she's saying, oh no, here we go again. so early guiding the shuttle across court not trying to be too clever 20, just guiding point. it into the open space this is just wonderful great vision seeing the gap and she's earned herself 10 game points And that's gone long. First time First of asking, and I have to say that uh, the defending champion, Wang Shoshian, looking awesome in that opening game, moving well, using every short shot in the book. And then the award, opening game, 21-10. So both sets of coaches working hard with their players. I remember her as a player. Technical Ada, former Japanese number one. So there you can see the four courts in action here on the second round of the main draw. Look at all the players battling today for a place in the quarterfinals tomorrow. And this particular one, match. 20 seconds. Court one. Repeat of seconds. last year's final. But one Shoshian. Really looking very much in control of that opening game, which it took 21 10. Second game, love all play. Now, Anthony, I know you're not an experienced coach yet, but you have done some coaching. I know you're very much admired by your teammates for your tactical analysis. If you had been down on courtside, what would you have advised Hirose to do here at the start of the second? I think the only thing she can do at this stage is basically try and attack everything. I mean, Shoshan has got so many shots overhead that you can't possibly give her the time to play those shots. Just like that rally there. You've she can't hear you, can she? Service over. I could try shouting a little <laughs> louder, but oh, I don't want to be biased. <laughs> no. But uh, I, I take your point exactly. I believe exactly the same. I think she should be more, uh, take more initiative within the rallies. Having said that, it is alien to her natural way of playing. So, you know, 
this is a problem for her. It's a dilemma. Mom. What she should be doing is not what she likes doing. So does she have Two, the courage one. to actually implement it? That's what we've got to see. That's definitely something we practice many, many times in training was different styles. All opponents around the world will have their own style. Now, if your game is not suited to what they're bringing to the table, you have to be able to adapt something different and go outside of your comfort zone. Service over. Two all. Shots, Huang Shashian. That's the first Set backhand over. that I can remember Wang Shoshian playing throughout the match. And that's, for the Japanese player, is a good sign. Finally, she's got her out of position. She's got to hustle, you know, the Chinese player a lot more. You know, this game is going to end very, very quickly unless Hirose really does something different. Well, she may have won the rally. Four, One of the things three. I wonder about, because she does seem to throw in the big high serve on the, at the onset of virtually every rally. And I wonder whether she should be trying to mix up the serve a little bit more. There's the big high serve again. From the onset, you're giving Wang Chexian the opportunity she did in that rally Four, to play oh. an attacking shot. If you want to take away the defending champion's attack, why not start with a low serve? I totally agree, Jill. This is, again, what I was saying about having different elements to your game. You know, if somebody's very, very good overhead, don't just give them the free shot at the start of the rally. But this is, again, the confidence to adapt different techniques, different tactics within the game. It's getting wide. Now... That, to me, was the sort of rally that so, so I'd that. certainly like to see more Five, of from Hirose. Four, yes. what Perfect. Is. Attacking everything. And this is the only way she's going to be able to beat this Chinese girl and bleeding errors after she's attacked her. Thank you. Well, she's practising that big high serve. Oh, this is good badminton. What a wonderful rally. Six, four. Very, very clever from the Japanese player. Starting to take the game to the Chinese girl now. It's great to see her playing shots. You know, we don't we want to see her just sort of allowing the Chinese girl to dominate the game. Oh, 
that's magnificent. Seven over. Well, finds Five, the line. Six. A cross court drop played with disguise, slicing across the feathers of the shuttle. And that is perfection. Judgment just long six all Over. Yes, I have to say that seven six is a good reaction there from Hirose. A little yell of delight as she saw that she'd won the rally. A little clinch fist. She very rarely shows much emotion on court, but that really does show how fired up she is. <laughs> Again, back level. Oof, was it? Well, no wonder she gives the umpire a little questioning look. Times have we seen that the Nine, attacking eight. shot down the Hiroshi backhand side, and then immediately the angled drop shot to the forehand net, and time and time again, it's a winner. The brilliant thing about the Chinese girl is she makes every single shot look exactly the same, and one shot that she does have that perhaps other girls around the world don't have is is the hold punch clear. And by doing that shot, keeps your opponent quite deep in the court, and then that slice angle every time a winner, and nearly every time it's almost landing on the line as well. Ten, eight. There's changing the angle once again. The obvious shot would have been the straight block. Instead of which, just guides it cross court, makes Hirose have to change direction. No, no so, so idea, far. but Nine, just finding ten. the net. again oh. 
terrific net shot. Oh, that's a very, very well worked yeah, rally well, from Irito Hiroshi. And she has the narrowest of possible advantages at the mid game interval. Just one point in it. That was a phenomenal net shot. Shuttle crawled up over the tape. This really shows the advantage of having a coach in between sets. You know, Hirose's coach has come on and definitely given her more of a game plan to be more aggressive, really try and take the game to the Chinese player. And it's actually starting to make the Chinese player question herself a little bit. A lot more mistakes in the first half of that set. Eleven ten. Play. Well, so often the first point after so a game over. interval so crucial 11, psychologically. Four. I don't know about you, Anthony, but I'm always after a mid-game interval or at a change of ends or whatever. Just felt the next two or three points was really going to put the pressure on. I totally agree, Jill. It's the one time to really kind of, just after you've had a break and your opponent might be uh, a little bit relaxed because they've had a nice drink, a little bit of cool down. And that's the time to really turn the screw and put pressure on your opponent. There it is again. I've lost count of the number of times she's played that cross court 12, block towards the Hirose forehand side, and it's absolutely wonderful. Time and time again, it's been a winner. You've got to ask, though, Anthony, why isn't Hirose looking for that now? Why isn't she just thinking, well, it's coming every time, and I'm going to stand and, and look for it? I think the frightening thing about Shishan is she can actually play the straight one as well. Um, and that's what's really causing the problems. You know, if she was just to go running across to the other side and just stand there waiting for that one, you just know that the Chinese yeah. girl would put it straight down the line for a winner there instead. Yeah, fair point. Service over. 12 all. Landed in. Good rally. 13, 12. Well, they really are exploring all four corners of the court, both of them. That. 14, 12. But I suppose the key was that she'd got Shoshian deep into the forehand corner before she really rushed to the net. There, that one. Definite injection of pace from Hirose in the last three or four points. 